All right, in this exciting video, I'm going to explore a very cool idea. And you may want to try and implement this sooner rather than later. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like the video, comment. The longer the comments, the better it is because I love reading your comments. I love reading your feedback. It actually helps me grow my channel and we're on our way to 300 subscribers so what am i exploring today today's video is going to be on the idea of being willing to explore failure yeah deep huh we're going deep today here's what i mean by this I created a YouTube channel called Orient Express Marketing. Why did I create that? I created it so that I could reach out to my town. I live in a small town outside of Calgary, Alberta. And my goal is to reach out to local businesses, even businesses in Calgary, but for now, local businesses. And my goal is to help them get more leads to their website via YouTube and get them more business because if they get more leads and they're warm leads if people are going to their let's just say for example their youtube channel and they understand a little bit more about their product or service who they are as a person and they begin to trust them and they go to their website and book an appointment with them maybe it's a service call maybe it's a, a furnace cleaning company maybe it's a plumbing company who knows what it is it could be one of these pro post uh, companies they're building decks and all kinds of stuff maybe they don't have a YouTube channel who knows but the reason why I did this is I wanted to explore failure I know that sounds weird it sounds like oh you should never approach a business with the idea to fail it's not what I'm talking about I'm talking about the idea of creating an entity in order to explore all the options of what works, what doesn't work. So while I'm in this internship with Sales Sniper, I want to put into practice what I'm learning there while I'm being groomed, using it in the real world by calling people on the phone, doing whatever it takes to build that side hustle as well. Because I know how to do videos. I know how to create a YouTube channel and all this kind of stuff. But it doesn't help to just get views on your YouTube channel. It really doesn't. It's nice and everything. But ultimately, you got to have people go to your website and eventually buy from you. That's, that's really the goal. Because really, it, it, it's basically two goals on YouTube. One is to entertain you. The other one is for people to get to know you better. So they trust you enough that they can either subscribe to a course that you have um, or visit your website, know a little bit more, maybe buy a product or service or book a coaching call, strategy session, whatever it is. That's, that's the purpose of YouTube. So the reason why I created this is, again, I want to explore failure. I want to, ex I want to overcome that obstacle of whether that's being shy on the phone whether that's being nervous in front of 50, 60 people, the internship handles a lot of that stuff because you have to perform on a Zoom call in front of 60 people, your script, and you have to be on. So that's why I'm doing this stuff on the side. I also have video projects on the go. I have two right now this weekend. And I'm hoping to get those all done so that I can focus on the internship plus generating leads for this side business as well and putting it all into practice. Because by the time 12 weeks are over, my goal is to either become part of Sales Sniper or to have an account that I could manage at the end of the day. So but I don't stop. Every day I am learning, I'm applying what I learn, all this kind of stuff, because you have to, otherwise you're just, you're just um, procrastinating. You know, wanna know what another form of procrastination is? 
it could actually be YouTube in some ways because some people uh, watch a ton of videos and don't really do anything, but they just watch them and that's it. But another form of procrastination that I didn't really think about too much is book reading. I know it might sound weird, but last year I read 50 books. And was that because I was afraid to get on the phone and I, I felt that something was missing and I needed to read a book to learn? Or did I like reading as a habit, just as a hobby? That is a good question because I have a buddy makes like, I don't know, three, four hundred K. And uh, I asked him, how many books do you read? Because I wanted to kind of share with him my knowledge of book reading and all this kind of stuff. And he said to me, um, <clears throat> man, I can't tell you the last time I read a book. I was like, oh, isn't that interesting? Here's a guy that has a lot of toys, Maserati, quads, all this kind of stuff. We go quadding, we go golfing, all this kind of stuff. Works pretty hard. Has his own company with his wife. Very successful, travels, all this kind of stuff. But has never read a book. That's interesting. So then to me, that, that could say that reading could be a form of procrastination. You might be watching a video like this because you know deep down inside there's something that you have to do. But instead, you're watching a video because you're searching for something. You're searching for one tip, one piece of advice that could just blow up your business and help you make $100,000 a month. Well, I'm here to tell you that there's never just going to be one tip that's going to explode your business. The one thing, this is kind of a paradox, if you will, I think it's starting. It's doing something. It's, it's having a daily goal of saying, you know what, I'm going to do something that is very difficult, that might make me look like an idiot, that I might fail miserably at. Instead of just being in a little birdie nest, I got birds outside here and I'm always watching them. But instead of having a little bird nest where you're constantly being fed, you know, information could be courses, tips, all this kind of stuff. Instead of being that little birdie, why don't you just look around, take a jump out of that nest, try something, you know, fly, have your little wings, fly, fly. Even if you crash and burn, big deal, just climb up that tree. Don't really know how little birdies climb up a tree once they fall out of the nest, but I'm thinking once they jump, their whole world changes. So that's it for this video. You know the drill. Subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you in another one. Bye for now.